Hey guys, so I am in serious discussions to buy MetaZoo. As we know, MetaZoo is in bankruptcy right now. Now, some interesting things about MetaZoo. They have Karomi, which is Hello Kitty. So, would I ever say MetaZoo cards are an investment? Absolutely not. Now, MetaZoo, the company, that may be a very interesting investment. Because they had Target, they had Walmart, they had Claire's, they had Five Below. They had a lot of distribution and that is incredibly valuable. They also had licenses with Sanrio. I'm not sure what their Marvel license is with. Maybe you know, people have said conventions, which does make sense. But at the same time, I mean, they must know somebody. So they're well connected. MetaZoo could be for... $50,000. Now, I've talked to another YouTuber. I'm not going to mention their name. And they might be interested in going 50-50 with me. We're going to go ahead. So, I'm a lawyer. I'm going to go ahead and contact and see what the bid is. So, that other YouTuber has suggested that for $100,000, 50-50 each, that's a really good deal based on inventory. And we can just make back all of our money from inventory and then we keep the IP as a little bonus or a huge bonus depending on how much effort we have to put into it. Now, we would have to hire a team to run this, MetaZoo. So MetaZoo itself is an investment opportunity, but MetaZoo cards are not. Um, if the first thing I would do if I got hold of MetaZoo, assuming that they have license for alpha investment, which I, I couldn't imagine they did not. I am going to give all the MetaZoo people that are owed money. I'm going to give them a crown eater. I'm going to give them all the four color crowns. You got don't got to do that random thing that you got to do with Rudy, right? Or how many ever crown? I think the free crowns, right? I'm going to give them every single Rudy promo as a thank you, right? Obviously, um, these things probably never got made. The pre-order kits, otherwise they should have been delivered. I think there was like a Valentine's kit, whatever. Like I don't actually know. But yeah, I'm just going to pay people off in Rudy promos because that is the only thing that's actually worth money in this set. Now, the Sanrio part, the plushes, I had no idea they were selling plushes for $55. So I've looked into this a lot deeper. And they were selling plushes of Karomi, very small plushes, for $55. I thought that was like a, maybe a $15, maybe a $10 plush. So they were really overselling this shit, man. And that's why no one's buying it. Like you cannot spend, you know, when you're, when you go to Five Below, we just went to Five Below the other day and you can get a 4th of July cinnamon row for five bucks. Why would you pay like $55 for a similar Halloween Karome? The answer is you want it. So if I had MetaZoo, I think my partner is actually, or my, hopefully my partner, hopefully 100K is enough to buy it. I think the number might be half a million, but there are emails and it looks like the Mike Waddell character would have sold it for 200 And that deal actually fell through, right? So there's a lot of greedy, grubby hands on the MetaZoo. And in bankruptcy, they'll be all wiped away. Um, honestly, all you have to do is convince the trustee that, hey... Well, I mean, you don't actually convince the trustee. <laughs> it's just going like, to take whoever gets the most money. So I think in uh, my... It is... Uh, my belief, again, I don't really know the exact calculation, but I'm pretty sure this individual would, the quote partner, would know far more about the value of these pallets than I would. And we put the value of the pallets at 100000 and then the IP is what it is. Um, obviously, the first thing I would do to take it over is people are owed money. Um, you got that, uh, the guy, the, the players are owed money, the collectors are owed I would make sure the collectors are paid off first because that's the most of them. And again, my plan would just be to inundate them with as many alpha investment promos as I want. Now, I would just print, the, I just say, start the printer and don't stop. And all we would do is print that dude's face onto Oblivion because we hopefully, so I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to call them on June 3rd. I don't know when this video will be uploaded. And I will hopefully understand what they actually have as assets. Uh, whether or not they do have the license to alpha investment and to make those specific cards. What I believe, so I, I do IP all the time and I actually did bankruptcy previously. I've never done IP and bankruptcy before. 
But what I believe is that for Hello Kitty, for Alpha Investment, you can print as many of, unless there's another contract in the way, you can print as many of those previous cards as you want. You just can't print any new cards. Again, unless there is a stop threshold where it's like, oh, you can only print 20,000 boxes and then that's it. Um, and then how many of them we printed? Now, I don't think that's the case because in MetaZoo, there are reprints, first edition, second edition, so on. And for Rudy promo, promos are just promos. There's nothing that prevents anyone, in my opinion, from printing these promos. And you still got Rudy promos at fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. I mean, hell, we might even start a grading company to grade them and just be like Umu 10s, right? Every Rudy promo is an Umu 10. We just flood the market with Rudy promos. Because uh, that's what they wanted, right? That, that's literally the only thing worth any money. Mothman is not worth as much as Rudy promos. And that's how I would pay out the collectors. We would stop doing collector cons. I talked to my significant other. We would open, you know, right now, um, she's expecting to give birth to, expecting to have a daughter early August. So that's really, obviously, the most important thing in my life right now. And we are, you know, going to open, like, I thought, you know, I, I wasn't all for this. You know, the Hello Kitty part is a big part. It's 90% of what I would want to buy into this for. At 50000 it's le it's like two Black Lotuses or three Black Lotuses, right? It's not a huge deal to me. Um, I bought way more than $50,000 of cards uh, just this year. And even Fire Emblem Cypher, which is a dead card game combined with Inuyasha, I spent way more than $50,000 in that last year. So $50,000 into MetaZoo is not, and I have a partner, uh, we've talked via email, once it gets a little bit more serious and we figure out what they actually have and it's worth it, uh, we'll probably talk more about that partnership and he can probably take care of a lot of the PR stuff, um, he actually does enjoy MetaZoo, probably far more than I will ever enjoy MetaZoo, I want the Hello Kitty, I think the plush are pretty cool, you keep producing the plush man i mean we buy hello kitty plush all the time and it's expensive as hell and when you go to like a dave and busters or a main event and you try to win like that plush man it's like a 50 60 dollar plush when you're done at the end of the day so oh yeah back to my point yeah uh we would probably start a coffee or a boba tea shop uh that's something she's interested in you no know, she wants to start a business i'm all for that wow that is some loud thunder. It's been raining most of the day. So anyway, that's that's my plan for MetaZoo. I'm all serious. Uh, um, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm going to kind of take you... If we buy it, uh, we'll take you through the journey. I think it would be interesting uh, to take you through the journey of like owning a card game. Not a card game shop. Actually, a card game. And, and you know, the significant other gets the Chromie, which is her favorite character. And I get Alpha Investments.